Thank you. Um, here are my disclosures. Uh, they're not relevant to my talk here. So while perioperative injury uh, to the diaphragm, left kidney, and colon can occur during splenectomy, pancreatic and gastric injuries and hemorrhage are more commonly encountered. In fact, bleeding is by far the most common uh, um, injury with reports of blood or platelet transfusions required in nearly a quarter of cases, especially those with hematologic disorders. So even though there are many videos, oops, there we are, uh, many videos that demonstrate easy control of bleeding, uh, in reality, this is what usually happens is your screen gets covered with blood. Uh, and before you know it, this is what your abdomen looks like, is just very dark. So much of what I'm gonna to say today is pretty obvious, but the first thing, stay calm, apply gentle pressure, uh, and then do not hesitate to convert to open. It's not a failure or a complication, it's just safe practice. If the patient is not exsanguinating, uh, there are several options. First, apply hemostatic agents and wait. Make sure that you have adequately trained help. Uh, add additional trocars, add a hand port for manual or digital control, using endoscopic staplers, ultrasonic shears, and bipolar instrumentation uh, is a good idea. Uh, using a clip applier, although make sure that uh, you know that if you do place clips, it can limit further bipolar uh, or endoscopic stapling use. Uh, and also suturing uh, is an option, although it's much, uh, looks a lot better on videos than it does uh, in reality sometimes. So uh, once control of bleeding is um, attained uh, using a vascular load uh, or endoscopic stapler for thinner tissues uh, is uh, one option. Vascular loads are usually gray, white, or tan depending on the brand of stapler. If there's bleeding, slow, I apologize. If there's bleeding at the hilum after you come across it, uh, you can just add an extra uh, firing of it. And if there's some hilar lymphadenopathy, then a thicker load with buttressing material uh, may be needed. Another option is ultrasonic uh, or bipolar uh, dissector, but be careful. Uh, frequently, this will make things worse, like this. Uh, keep in mind uh, that, like I said before, if you've placed any metal, such as clips or endoscopic staplers, that the bipolar will not work uh, at that point. And then there is suturing, which uh, frequently looks smoother on the videos than in reality, and before you know it, you can have quite a bit of blood loss, so uh, just be aware of that. So the next topic is uh, dealing with what to do with an adherent pancreas to the spleen or splenic hilum. Uh, in a perfect world, we'd have a nice plane like this in between the two. Uh, but unfortunately, and while this is an extreme case, uh, frequently your pancreas can be essentially adherent to the spleen or splenic hilum, as shown here by the yellow uh, pancreas and the orange uh, spleen. So there's lots of options. Um, for transection and closure, it can range from sharp, energy, stapled, with or without buttressing material, fish mouthing, over sewing the duct, fibrin glue. Uh, there does not appear to be a superior technique. All seem to have roughly a 20% leak rate. Uh, however, there may be a trend that's favoring stapled closure now. Um, I generally use a black, a thick load, like a black load, usually with uh, buttressing material. And then I also usually place a drain, although once again, the literature doesn't necessarily support that either way. Um, so it's personal choice. Uh, gastric injury is the final thing I'm gonna talk about. This can occur from either a medial or lateral dissection uh, of the spleen from the stomach or the diaphragm. Uh, these injuries can be immediately recognized or delayed from thermal injury. Uh, it's important to recognize the location of the fundus uh, off the stomach that can sneak up around the lateral and a superior aspect during splenic dissection uh, off the diaphragm. When a gastric injury uh, is recognized, sutured or staple repair can be utilized. If a thermal injury is suspected, it should be repaired. Here is an example uh, of a uh, just standard repair of a uh, gastric injury with just uh, an endostapler. 
So in conclusion, bleeding, adherent pancreas, and gastric injuries are a few of the unexpected occurrences that occur during splenectomy. Control can be obtained with endoscopic stapling, suturing, or energy devices, and once again, have a low threshold to convert to open if needed. Thank you.